All right, here we go. The new beginnings in uh, Palm Dew Valley. Stardew Valley, rather. Um, yep, hello, I'm Andrew, and I'm joined here with Penny. Who's... Oh, sorry, I was just I was just checking the checking the chat. Hello, everybody. Um, thank you for coming. Yeah. Sorry about the slight technical hitch, but we we fixed it. <laughs> oh, and I'm trying I'm trying to use my mouse to refresh my switch. <laughs> that, that's full. Yeah, that works. <laughs> right. So uh, yeah, lovely. So it's welcome, good. Welcome to Pelican Town. Yeah, a completely fresh uh, start for me because. I haven't. You played Stardew Valley before. I've got my Stardew Valley T-shirt on. Ah, there we go. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So I'll I say I'll be your native guide. I'll tell you all about. You know, just ask me anything. Yeah, <laughs> basically. I'm... Although this is this is the latest version. I haven't played a lot of that, but um. Okay. So there's a few differences, but not too much. Right, hosted a whole new farm and bonjour to uh, Ninty Bus as well. Um, yeah. yeah so. We got four viewers so far. Yeah. How about we we have the chat name my character because yeah. I, the most unimaginative name I came up with the other day was Keith. Yeah, so we did a little test game. Yeah, it's Keith. <laughs> I can name mine too, as long as it's nothing too dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> so I shouldn't. Uh, I'm so trying to. I'm trying to watch three screens at once. So yeah, same here. I'm like, come on, chat. Be good. Yeah. Name, name, give me a good name. <laughs> Don't make me use Keith. I may have to use Keith. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, that's a. So you 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 know nothing basically. You just you just yeah. know about this is a farm game. That's I, all you know. I know, I know Animal Crossing. That that's kind of dark. This right. <laughs> it's it's kind of it's got a bit of Animal Crossing, a bit of sort of old school Harvest Moon Story of Seasons kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. um, you can't do anything wrong, basically. Right. You don't have to. You don't have to eat or drink. Uh, you do have to sleep. Um, yeah. You don't have to feed your animals. They just won't produce anything if you don't. So things don't die. Really. Mm -hmm. So there's no pressure really to do anything so you don't have to be like because a lot of the you know like a lot of the farming games like you must you must water everything or it'll die and it'll destroy everything that you've ever done mm -hmm. um this it just doesn't produce uh oh well oh, oh, better than ac apparently <laughs> i'm not sure they're mm -hmm. two of my favorite games they are two of my favorite games i must admit um yeah there's uh there's th this this is um this game's got a lot going for it um, are you starting it up, or are you still waiting uh, for a name? I'm. I was waiting for a name, but no, I've gone with Keith. So Keith oh, is. Keith. Yeah. Keith is. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe if they come up quickly with a name for me, then um, mm -hmm. I'm just going to put my phone up where I can see it a bit better without having to keep looking down. Yep. We're going to name it the MPUK Farm because yep. you know it's on the MPUK. So mm -hmm. is that our favourite thing? Um, yeah, that doesn't have much relevance until quite late on in the game, so don't worry about it too much. Okay. <laughs> Favorite thing, video games. Because, yeah, let's can. face it, yeah, they're, they're the best thing ever. That works. Animal preference. I like the ginger cat, so I'm keeping the gin uh, ginger cat. Another ginger cat. I can be purple. I could be pink, I could be brown, I could be anything. That, that um, Miko's, Mika song. I could be blue, I could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet. Mm -hmm. That one. Oh, it's Grace Kelly, wasn't it? Yes. Oh, thanks, Ninty Buzz. Go back to work. I, it is very cold. It's, it's about two degrees out in um, lovely Essex where we are. So, yeah, it's it's cold. So, yeah. I, I yeah I thanks for doing Bye, Buzz. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, I... Um... Had to walk about half an hour in that cold. Well, I say half an hour. Half an hour this afternoon, and half an hour this morning, and yeah, it, it's not it's not fun out there. Um, I actually the screen's still black. Oh. Um. I've just realised you were saying you were doing the um. You're saying you were doing the character the creation. Character creation. The screen is black. It's just showing, oh. showing a Nintendo Switch logo. Oh. Uh, oh, hang on. No, hang on. Wait, wait. 
It might be. No, it's me. It's me. It's me. I paused the stream. <laughs> Ignore me. Uh, the chat was still going down, but I paused the stream. Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Oh, we. Oh. No, it's all part of the learning process. Yeah, we've, had, we've had some slight technical hitches, so I'm I'm very pleased that things are going as well as they are. Yeah. <laughs> so we got the yeah, Luigi can, Santa Claus. Yeah. Luigi Santa Claus. Yep. Being green what, and everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Although he's he's properly armed. He's got a, he's got a long sword above his fireplace. Yeah, he's allowed. Right, so now the plot. Mm hmm. Don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. Okay, I'm listening. There, there will come a day when you feel crushed by a burden of modern life. Yeah, don't we? Don't we know it? <laughs> <laughs> and a bright spirit will fade before a glowing emptiness. So a bit on, ominous, ominous, ominous. When that happens, oh boy. It is a fairly standard farming game start. Yeah, think. yeah. Um, 20 years later. Okay, this is hitting me a little bit too hard. Yeah, it's... <laughs> working in the office and then thinking, hey, I'm going to start a farm. Yeah, it's it's like I say, it's like you're working for a faceless corp mm -hmm. and um, and you just one day you just have you just go, enough is enough. Can't uh... work for Jojo Corp anymore mm -hmm. <laughs> in my little cubicle. <laughs> Although I had to uh, as admit those monitors you know the the full CRT backing of them, and yeah, they look my, huge. My, my sort of vintage. Yeah, <laughs> my even, vintage. Even got like a um, what was it? The well, old Apple mouse up there. You know, it's got two buttons, yeah. but like square. Oh yeah, two button, two button skinny mouse. I remember them. Mm -hmm. oh. Dear Keith, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of search. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connection with other people and nature. Yeah, again, hit it a bit too hard for me. Uh, so I dropped everything and moved to a place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed for that place. My pride and joy, MPUK Farm. In located in Stargy Valley. On the southern coast. It's... <clears throat> Excuse me. It's the perfect place to start at your new life. This is my pre most precious gift of all, and it's your. It's, it's now yours. I'll just add in now because it sounded a bit better. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck, long grandpa. <laughs> family name of Mpuck. Keith Mpuck. What's your name? Keith Mpuck. Mpuck. I think it's Mpuck. I don't know. Keith Mpuck. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hello, Boss Wolf. Welcome to the chat. I know Boss Wolf's got work early tomorrow morning, so we'll not be around for too long, but thanks no. for dropping by. Yeah, same same for me. I've uh, not going to make it a long one tonight. Just uh, get a little right. feel for the Stargy Valley. Yep. Riding on the bus. Right, so, I mean, I've, I've played a lot of Stardew Valley, but I haven't played much co-op, so it'll be interesting for me to see what's different and what's not. Ah. I think Penny's picture's frozen. Yeah, for some reason, I, I don't know what's up with my computer. Mm -hmm. As long as I hold down the Alt key, your picture moves, but as soon as I release it, you freeze. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, let's keep that. <laughs> keep it like that for the rest of the stream. <laughs> so as long as I keep moving, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, blurry hands. You'll see it in a sec. <laughs> yeah, the one that's a modern technology. Mm hmm. Right, I'm still mashing refresh on the on the join button. Mm -hmm. um, we did discover that it's kind of very forgiving on the Switch, the um, online. As long as it, I think it's as long as you've got Nintendo online mm -hmm. and your friends, it just says, "Oh yeah, uh, here's a farm. You can try this one." 
yeah uh, even when we tried this the other day um I was so surprised how quickly it just like says, okay, Penny's joined the game, just like, but but mm. don't you have to join the lobby and this, that, and the other? And, but no, it's so am smooth. I, and... Am I still frozen? Am I still frozen? Yeah, unfortunately so. I, I oh, don't well. know. This didn't do it the other it's day. Right. It's all right. Um, you can still hear me though, can't you? So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all, all clear. Oh, it's just, I, can see, I can see what's going on on the... Um... You've still got opening cutscene stuff going on. Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot to turn off my uh, friend notifications whenever someone comes online. We just had mm. uh, Ant from Nintendo Basin Stoke just pop up online. It's all right. I don't think any of them will have rude names, so... No, no, no. Um, In fact, uh, Basin Stoke have got an event coming up soon. So yes. for those yes, yes. around that area, yep. Uh, check out nintendoplayers.uk slash yeah, fine. We should be plugging some more streaming stuff. Uh, I'm trying to remember what's coming up. Uh, I know next month we are having a bit of a cold and cold and chilly thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because Leon's going to be playing a bit of Subnautica uh, Sub Zero, I think it's called, or something yeah. like that. The, the DLC, the Subnautica DLC, so extra chilly. Um, <laughs> We're going to be doing a bit more Stardew, and then after we've done a bit of Stardew, I'm going to be doing some Mario Golf in mm -hmm. this new. With, I think Boss Wolf might well join me for that, because Boss Wolf's very keen on the golf. Uh, and, uh, um, apparently they, uh, you know, kind of did well in a certain championship yeah, recently. they did. They did <laughs> do quite well. They did do quite well in a certain championship. So, um, yeah, they're our go-to golf person. And I will probably also do a bit of Go Vacation Snow Resort because I like Go Vacation. So just a bit of mindless skiing just before Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Snowboarding. Uh, uh, tubing. They, 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 they do this weird thing which you would never do in real life where you basically take like a an inner tube and go hurtling down a mountain in it. I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> which is horribly, horribly dangerous. But, yeah, so we're going to have a bit of... And a bit of the old go vacation mm -hmm. um, and other things as well so stay tuned yep a lot so, can happen in december <clears throat> so i'm just seeing what's going on yes yes you do like the gold things i said boss wolf likes the gold things mm -hmm. so um so yeah you the, the everyone's basically saying oh you're the new guy welcome to the farm yeah and there's the usual sort of tutorial do something terribly simple for the first few days yeah um so like here's your farm so, get on with it yeah so we <laughs> should but obviously at the very early days in the game you haven't got a lot in the way of um energy mm -hmm. i can join the game now right at last. okay at last i'm just gonna i i, I wrote down <laughs> I, I, I took a bit I, actually i wrote it down a bit of paper a little NHS related um, post it note mm -hmm. remind me um, what I just picked. I picked out like a name and a face, and I'm just going to be Namiri unless, unless anyone else says anything. Cause Unknown, <laughs> unnamed farmhand Namiri has joined. Yeah, oh, oh well, I will. Well, I will do. I haven't, I haven't rolled myself up yet. Yeah, so uh, let's be. Um, Typey, typey, type, type. Uh, yeah, you basically at the moment you've just got a very overgrown farm, which is very Animal Crossing. Mm -hmm. Lots of wood chopping and stuff to do. Right, so I am. So. Oops. Oh, hang on. Oh no, sliders. No. <laughs> mm -mm. no. Don't go back. Nope. I'll say I'd never played this before. Obviously, I just yeah. kind of admitted that we did sort of start. We did a little, but we didn't. You didn't see the cutscenes, though, did you? you did, no. Um, we did. Uh, we did uh, turn that off so that I could. Uh, you could come into it all nice and fresh. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, I'm um, just just passing my uh, pump, uh, pumpkin seeds. Put parsnips, Snape. Parsnip seeds, yes, parsnips. 
got to go with the snips. Yeah. Thing. I don't know why I couldn't pronounce uh, parsnips this there, but <laughs> I think it's just nerves. <laughs> nerves oh, from the, like, actually oh, doing a stream, oh, not on my channel. New day in a farm. You've done lots of streaming. You've done lots of streaming. Yeah, but I kind of... Not on someone else's Yeah. Thing, I, I, <laughs> I, I, I was about to say, I didn't quite do it on a uh, national scale, but streaming yeah, is well. sort of global global so fine. <laughs> yeah. technically anyone would be watching um right so uh right just getting my getting my character sorted out mm. uh, mm -hmm. oh there goes a frog yeah there's lots of nice little things i mean the one of the things that i will tell everyone about this game whenever I get the opportunity is the guy who did it um, Concerned Ape also, uh, Eric Baroni his name is mm -hmm. had graduated from so like, computer science and was looking for work as a computer you know, game designer Yeah, and said I've got this really great idea for like a old school farming game like Harvest Moon and they, everyone went nah there's no money in it Mm -hmm. uh, it'll never, you know, whatever. So he made it himself, all of it, all of it. The graphics, the music, gameplay, the coding, everything. Mm -hmm. And it sold millions, and he made millions. He has a new game coming up. I should mention um, the, I think it's like a haunted chocolatier, <laughs> haunted chocolatier, maybe. Um, which is, I think, it's in the Stardew Valley universe. Um, there's a board game coming out mm -hmm. in Ardy Valley. It's already out in America, but it's going to be out in Britain uh, next year, I am told. Mm -hmm. I've already pre-ordered a copy. <laughs> good, good. So that's going to be fun. Um, but yeah, no, one person made this whole game. Uh, and that is an amazing achievement, just to make a, such a well-loved game on your own. Yeah. And it took him years. It took him years. And he's had more people involved more recently. So for things like... Um, the multiplayer stuff, I think. Okay, that'll do. Close enough. Here I am. Here oh. I am. Let me open my parcel, get my parsnip seeds. Yeah, we both have... Um, I think we both have... We both have shared goals in some ways. So there's there's sort of plot-related... Um, uh, so here I am. Hey <laughs> So there's like plot related stuff and there's also um what's the word? Quests, that's the word. Yeah. Quests. Um but I'm not hundred percent sure what's shared and what's not, so it'll be interesting to find out. Mm. Obviously I've done this, I've I've played this game on Switch and on PC and on Android and on iOS. <laughs> I've played it many a time on mm -hmm. every map as well, so I have done this quite a bit. Ooh, oh, I've frozen. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. No. no. Oh, there we are. Yeah. It's going to be fine. <laughs> that, that was one thing we sort of uh, were worried about in yeah. rehearsals the other day. It's just like, we're freeze oh, no. frozen, it's and, fine. but it comes back. It's freezing as long as it unfreezes. There we go. Yeah. So, so there is much... Uh, much farming to do. I haven't dug enough holes. I've got three more. Three more. There we go. So you see you've got like an energy meter bottom left. Mm -hmm. uh, if you run out, like it's going to red and it sort of sweats as well. That's the only word I can describe for it. Mm -hmm. um, you will collapse and that will be your day done. Um, and I think if you collapse in sort of certain circumstances, you lose some of your items as well. I don't think you lose tools, but you lose like things you've picked up. Mm -hmm. um, uh, other than that, you just sort of um, do what you're told, really. I'm just trying to remember here. Yeah, so getting started, cultivate harpsies, parsnip and greet people. Yeah, don't worry too much about greeting everyone as well, because that will take longer than a few days because you won't meet everybody. Yeah. So, um, uh -oh, I'm frozen now. About... Oh, oh, I'm not. Uh, yeah. Give me a second. There we are. Okay. So, but basically, you just go around, uh, go around the town, uh, and meet the people. So, mm -hmm. well, don't, uh, don't cut, well, yeah, 
you can cut all the grass down. Um, you do need some for the animals later, but it's going to take us a while to get to animals, so right. not super long. But I'd always recommend to people, get your animals going before winter, because you can't do much else in winter, mm -hmm. because the crops obviously don't grow. So, um, we have chosen, by the looks of it, the main game, the original map. Mm -hmm. I would recommend, I, I would, I know it very well. So, got a little, little pond here for watering, you can fill up yep. your, Lovely thing there. And I've so, done yeah, that. So, so basically, we can we do whatever you want. We can go around the town. We can. What should we do? What's what's? Just um, I'll, yeah, I'll say Explore. let's go. Let's, yeah, let's go to the right here and see. You look like brother and sister, don't we? Got the same red hair. I was about to say we've got the same coloured hair. And... Yeah, we are. We are. We are related. Um, perhaps. Oh, oh, I've frozen. All right. Yeah. I'll wait here for a sec. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's all right. Yeah, we're good. I don't know. <laughs> Why is that? He's I don't... playing Biomutant or something. <laughs> you just feel the need to water things as you go past them. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I um, I pressed A, I oh, know, B on what I thought was a... I'm trying to water you. There you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> okay, this guy looks like a Final Fantasy character. He does. He does look like Cloud. <laughs> I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Okay. All right. That's it then. <laughs> he's pleased to meet me, and he went. And off Leo goes. Yes. Yeah, some of some of the some of the characters, especially the male characters, let's say take a little while to warm up to you. Ah. Okay. Uh, some of them are quite rude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they're romanceable because they're rude. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I guess some. I guess some people like bad boys. I don't know, but um, well, here comes Harvey the Doctor. Hello, Harvey. We've met before. You you don't realise it because it was in another plane of existence. But I I know you very well. Mm -hmm. um, oh, he's gone. That, that's me. Yeah, he's he's gone into the clinic. You can follow him into the clinic, or you. Can... It's locked. Oh yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I... That is also his home, I think, because it's uh, it's it's getting to evening now, so mm -hmm. people are. Heading off to the pub, probably. Maru? Yes. Oh, aren't you the one that just moved in? Yes, I am. I'm Maru. I'm looking forward to meeting you. You've just met me. You just oh, walked through meet me. This, meet this girl. Please meet her. She's okay. important. Okay. Ah, Penny. Yeah, <laughs> it's my namesake. <laughs> she teaches the kids in, in the library. I like her. Mm-hmm. But I never sort of, even when I played as like a male character a few times, I never romanced her because it felt kind of weird. Yeah. She's got the same name as me. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. So you can just wander around and explore. Oh, here yep. comes another guy. So yeah, basically, yep. basically wander around looking like like trying to meet meet people. Cause <laughs> nice, polite. Uh, uh, hi, I'm Clint. And just walks off. Yeah, he's, he's, he's kind of shy on you, presumably. Mm-hmm. Oh, ah, uh, here's some stuff. You can pick these up. Sort of daisy sort of things. Yeah, daffodils. Ah. You get to you get to see what's pick upable and what's not pick upable after a while. And like all good games, there's fishing. Mm-hmm. But that will come later. Don't think this will be open. Archaeology, yep, closed at six o'clock. It's now half past eight. I've still got half my energy left, so... Uh, yeah, the pub will still be open. Let's go to the pub. There's uh, Kate. Okay. You lead the way. Because there's quite a few people in there normally, so it helps with the meeting people quest. Uh, let's go to the pub. Yeah, the typical, typical Nintendo Essex. Let's go to the pub. Yep. <laughs> I've overshot. Here it is. There we are. Star Drop Here's Saloon. Food, spirits, and... Well, that's all you need, really. Yeah. Yeah, Shane's unpleasant. We'll talk to him in a minute. Chef Anona. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's um like all these sort of games. It. 
behind it. It's got off a slow start. Um, but that's just because it's that kind of a game. There's not really much you can do. I mean, you can... Like I said, there's a quest to meet all the people, and it's sort of kind of good to meet all the people. But also, you can you can just work until in the farm. I think until something like um, what is it now? I think it's something like one in the morning mm -hmm. um, before you're unceremoniously sort of yoinked to the next day with someone telling you off for sleeping outdoors. I think it is. Um, so yeah, you can you can sort of uh, it will. Start, I think it's sort of like eleven, twelve o'clock. It will start saying to you, um, "It's getting late. You better get back." Mm -hmm. So I just um... do seem to have a very independent existence actually. Mm -hmm. I can go off. I can go, I can go running off into the darkness yeah. <laughs> without you. <laughs> I kind of uh, stumbled across the arcade. So. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! There is a game you can play in there. It's kind of hard though. It's like a bullet hell. Yeah, I think that's the one I'm playing. Then. It was Journey, Journey of the Prairie King or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh... it sort of reminds me of uh, Smash TV or Sheriff or... Well, it's a very old Nintendo game. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, it's just another little little Easter egg kind of thing. But, um... Yeah, I was a bit worried we'd have to stay on the same screen, but it doesn't seem to care that I'm, I'm back at the farm. Oh, I okay. Oh, it's getting late. Did you just get that? No. Yeah, midnight. Midnight. It tells you it's getting late. Uh, with a little, a little pop up. So it's like get to bed, get to bed before. I think it's one in the morning. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, my uh, clock is vibrating. So I yeah. guess that's a cue to. Yeah, it goes red as well, just to say that you know. Get a move on. Yeah, it's super late. But yeah, you can, I mean, obviously, if you if everything's done and your energy meter's empty, you can just go to bed and it will just wake you up the following morning. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, oh, Boss Wolf, uh, gaming flavour. That's all, I didn't know when you said that. Oh, oh, now, we're, now it's 1am and we're, we've got little Zs above our heads, so we have to go into our little houses and go to bed. Uh, oh, I was by my house. Just, just a bit dark around here. Yeah. Sleep for night. It gets dark at night. <laughs> <laughs> Funnily enough. <laughs> okay, so Keith has tucked into bed, it told me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you can watch the TV as well. Um it'll give you a weather report for the following day and a sort of Katrina in Animal Crossing style luck estimation. Ah. Sometimes it will also give you recipes, like cooking recipes for when you learn how to cook. Mm -hmm. oh, I've got mail. Weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. I've, have a got, I've got mail, and I assume you're going to have mail too. From Willie. Okay. Check the letterbox then. Ooh. Yep. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come to uh, come down to the beach sometime. I've got the same for you. Yeah, because all the best games have fishing. Even Skyrim now. Skyrim has fishing yep. now. Bizarrely. They still hold the fishing rod like they're wielding a sword, though, which is kind of fun. So let me water your parsnips. Yep. Do a bit of tidying. Actually, I should very quickly. I'm going to run out of space, so... Have you... Oh, you probably haven't got to the crafting bit, have you? Not quite. Oh, wood. Not quite. Yeah, no, right. Like I said, I'm just thinking that you're, you're, the, you're the sort of townie who's decided he needs... He wants some help with his his, his granddad's farm, so he's got me, the experienced farmhand, to mm -hmm. help out. So I'm just carrying on. I'm going to catch up, scrub. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It, it's you know, I said it doesn't it's not the most demanding of games which is why I like it I mean you know, I play a lot you know running around jumping shooting things all that mm -hmm. sort of stuff but sometimes you just want to chill yeah and this is the ideal game for that sort of thing it, like I said it doesn't matter what you do I mean you know, it matters because you know you, the further you progress in the game the more things you unlock the more things you can do uh, the more places to go you know but you don't it doesn't 
like you know like the old sort of um like the facebook farming games that if you didn't log in every 15 seconds then everything would die yeah like that. <laughs> Just trying to do a bit of. Oh. I like the way when you when you chop a tree down, all the wood sort of flies around, and then it all sort of sort of like teleports no. toward you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that be enough. Right. Yeah, I, I don't have to stand right next to the uh, all the sap and the wood that drops, and it just yeah gravitates towards you. Yeah. I'm gonna hand it right. Okay, I'm gonna put my little chest. Put some stuff in it. I don't know if we've got shared inventory or not. Actually, we'll find out. Uh, bu 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 bu. That's the uh, that's the uh, selling things cupboard. Oh, <laughs> so I just oh okay. Right. <clears throat> so it's only grass and wood that's right there is a i think there's a i think you there's there's some kind of thing that tells you oh yeah you've 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 uh you've done one of these like you've you've sent away some of that mm -hmm. um it's like i said it's very forgiving at this stage of the game it's like well you know you i thought i say you don't have to you know you don't have to make money or anything i don't know what you eat i assume you're eating like grass and twigs or something yeah <laughs> it's like yeah 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 you're fine you don't need to eat maybe maybe because you maybe you got a nice sort of um when you quit your job you got a nice sort of uh little nest egg that means you, you you've got enough mars bars to survive yeah that's why i like to think of things to say like, yeah you quit the oh, job I, I'm get food to exhausted right i'm tired now oh yeah um my energy meter's three quarters yeah, down it, it doesn't um it only matters for work basically you can still run around talk to people mm -hmm. but it for like for chopping wood farming that sort of thing it will um that's when it starts sort of really taking um taking a hold so basically i can't do any more work now i'm tired mm -hmm. but i can go off and go off and heart for going forage and forage for things okay um, i said i mean it's kind of Oh, there's there's a, a leaf. Run it. Uh, yep, got it. So um, there's like oh, there's there's some dandelions. Mine. Uh. Yeah, a lot of this stuff isn't. <laughs> if I just went and watered the <laughs> mine cart. A lot of this, a lot of this stuff hasn't been unlocked yet. This is kind of very early game. And like I said, I mean, technically we could go to bed now and go advance the next day if we wanted to. <laughs> but you know, there's there's still a lot of places to see, and it's. You know, they actually be able to get into some rooms now because because not everyone's you know like I say that during the day like things like the clinic and the library and and the the, the blacksmiths and all that are open so you can go in and have talk to people. Mm -hmm. it's like, oh, Willie, Willie wanted to see us, didn't he? Come yes, on, that's what I was thinking. Me, um, go to the sea. <laughs> yeah, boss, boss wolf. <laughs> <saying, clears throat> sorry, boss wolf saying uh, any rupees hidden in those bushes. Mm -hmm. Nope. There's, um, later on. Uh, in the season, you do get fruit in the bushes. Mm -hmm. Ah, right. Scene. Are you get the same cutscene as me? Yes. Oh, is the... I, I, I triggered. It. I think I triggered it by going first, but I think it basically, it will, it will uh, work for both of us. So, is it me on the cutscene? I can't. I can see me. I, I don't know if it is. Am, am I running the cutscene? No, no. It's me. Um... Oh, okay. I don't, I don't know if it's doing it independently, but... Yeah, I did, because I said, this is the thing I don't know about Stardew, is how the co-op works. <laughs> um, I'm very familiar with the sort of standard single-player gameplay, but I didn't know how it... I think, like I said, normally in the single-player, the cutscenes will freeze time, but in co-op, you will still... The time will still be passing. So I've heard stories of people basically being... Uh, very near to like one in the morning mm -hmm. running doing a cutscene and then because they don't realize it's not it's not paused because they're in co-op it says oh no you've and it basically insta insta exhausts them because they were out when they shouldn't have been mm -hmm. uh so but you know we probably won't be out super late no so well, i got my fishing rod yep well it was about um 
3 p.m. in game time mm. when we start this, yeah. so it'd be way before bedtime. Yeah, I mean, there's some um, like again, like Animal Crossing, like Harvest Moon festivals um, that are like the whole day or the whole evening. <clears throat> Excuse me, and they. They sort of take over the day that you know you go into town and it just starts a cutscene and starts the festival and off you go. Um, oh, I can see you fishing, I think. Yep, yeah, I'm yeah, casting my rod. Oh, oh. he's just popped yeah, out from yeah. under, under the pool. Oh. It's quite a good fishing cutscene, uh, f um, fishing, um, uh, mini game. This actually, it kind of works quite well. Oh, 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 I didn't realise I could sit on the chair. Wow, I sit on the bench. <laughs> I don't seem to be able to... Oh, why can't I? I can't... Can I use my thing? I don't seem to be able to fish. Unless I'm not doing it right. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh I have to press the Y button. Oh, okay. I might have... I, oh. might, have tr I might have trouble because I... Uh, I haven't got sound on my game, and I also haven't got a pro controller. No. Oh. <laughs> so I am not going to get any vibration or anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I can't I can't do this now because I feel sluggish from overexertion. Okay. Yeah, I can see your eyes I, drooping. Um, yeah, I'm... I basically, I need to eat. Maybe if I eat this dandelion, it'll perk me up a little bit. Om nom nom nom. Yeah, it is. Give me 25 energy. Yeah, catch that fish. Yeah, uh, 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 uh. Come here, come here. Yeah, the fishing mini game's kind of fun. I quite like it. Eee! Yeah! Got me a herring. You got me a herring. Nice. Yeah, like I say, in winter, you don't have, um... You don't have, like, so much sort of plant growing farming to do. Mm -hmm. So it's a good time to do a bit of... bit of, um... fishing. Oh, see, see this? Mm -hmm. See these little wormies? Yep. Dig them up with your hoe. Right. Um, it took me ages to find this first time in the game. Yeah. Clay. Yeah, keep your eyes open for those because there's always some more. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> there we are. A lost book. Yeah. Stuff. Library's, um, <laughs> library's connection has expanded. Yeah. Yeah, for some reason, someone stole everything from all the library and, and buried it around town. Oh, okay. Not sure why anyone would steal from a library, but uh There you go. Oh it's getting dark. Yep. So <laughs> get moving. Yep. Yeah, I'm super I'm super tired as well in game, so Yep, my uh bar is getting a dark shade of orange now. Yeah, but it certainly looks like you you can just go off and do what you want and I'll <laughs> just I'll just I'll just slave slave on the farm. <laughs> I'm interested because I think I think what happens is whoever gets to a major plot cutscene first will trigger it, and then everyone else is like forced to watch it. Yeah. Um, so I think that's how it works for those. But other than that, sort of um, talking to NPCs and so on is independent. I think you and I each do our own one. Or oh, actually, I was gonna, I was gonna put some stuff in the shipping bin to make us some money. Mm -hmm. Money. Right. And off to bed for me. Yep, I'm already in bed. Yeah, it gives me so. a little... It tells on you. There we go. <laughs> well, I, I'm still frozen as well. I don't know why I've bothered. Still got my, still got my <laughs> camera on. But you can hear me. That is yep. fine. You can <laughs> see me in the game. There we are. So we made some cash. Oh, why did you sell your pumpkin seeds? Uh, parsnip seeds, even. I don't know. I, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Oh, bless. You sold. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Just realised that our chat box is higher up than it should be. So, yeah, that's all sorted now. Oh, it's all right. Yeah. Oh, well. <clears throat> it's fine. Do you... I, said, I said before, the important thing is that you can hear us and see the game. No, yeah. Nothing else is just set dressing. Oh, you switch your fire on as well in your house as well if it's chilly. Weather report. It will be clear and sunny tomorrow. 
well, we don't have to water our crops today. Mm -hmm. It is nasty. The spirits are in good humour today. I think you'll have extra luck. Oh, that's that's good to know. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we'll have extra luck. We'll have extra luck doing. So yeah, my my usual sort of early game stuff is to do do the quests and just collect a lot of wood and stone because you will need it eventually. Mm -hmm. Clear some space for all the fancy stuff. Kind of miss the um the mobile phone version, uh, the way that it does the um the way it does the tools. Mm -hmm. Instead of swapping between the tools manually, it will just assume that if you're facing a tree, you, you want your axe, and if you're facing a, you know, stone, you want your pickaxe, and and if you're facing weeds, you want your scythe. It just sort of works it out. No. Oh. Um, whereas in this, oh, I suppose it's nice to have the control over it as well. Sort of go, well, you know, this is what I want to do. Yeah, I wonder if. Um... I'm just thinking like the handheld. You just basically take your switch out of your dock. You could yeah, change it that way, I, but I don't know if it uses the touch screen like that. Actually, I've not. Uh, I don't remember. Hmm. I first played it on PC, so I know it, I kind of know it best on PC. That's where I did my sort of early learning. You can chop the stumps as well. You can keep going with the stumps to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. Not the big stumps. The big stumps of hardwood. You, you need better axe for those but you can um the little stumps you can chop them up and there's a ruined greenhouse over here and a cave which will become <laughs> useful later yep so queen et is me says good day and good day to you too good day yes welcome to this very rainy day in npuk farm town yep yeah i'm getting a bit tired now uh, game tired yeah uh, so Anyway, what do you do? oh well, actually I've got some, I've got, I've got some more, um, I've got, I've got some mixed seeds. I'm just going to pop in the ground. Steel for stumps. Yep, yep. We just, uh, well, I say we're going that way. Um, up in there. <clears throat> oh, there's some stuff down here. The pockets must have been full. Yeah, yeah. I'll go drop off some bits and pieces. Right, just chuck some stuff in here. Did you uh, make yourself a chest? I have not. Um, uh, you make yourself a chest. Like I have done, except it's behind the tree. <laughs> oh, I need 50 wood. Yeah, you do. Uh, uh, do you want some? Uh, no, actually, let's work out the giving people things, things, because there must I must be able to do that. Hang on, mm -hmm. it's the same as the characters. Have you per wood? Um, yeah. Oh, you're oh, oh yeah. Your well, uh, oh yeah. I forgot about the uh, oh, the em again. the emotes. Oh, don't worry, there's the chat there. Oh, you, still, you keep hearting um, at me. <laughs> I, keep, yeah, I keep offering you wood and you yeah. keep telling me, telling me, oh, I love wood. Yeah. yeah. Do you want it? <laughs> I, uh, I just get uh, waiting for the other player. I don't know what he's yeah. doing. Well, the thing is... Um, <clears throat> What's it saying it, to you? It, it's saying... If you try it again, I'll, I'll... It's had to give you like one piece of wood at the time. Nimiri, <laughs> Nimiri is offering you her wood. Would you accept it? That's what it yeah. says. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I must be able to drop. I must be able to give you more than one wood at a time. Yeah, because this is going to take forever. Oh, hang on. Maybe I can drop it or something. Uh, unless, unless, can you get in my chest? <laughs> Put it in my chest. Hang on. Okay. Yes, I can take oh, you it. Get it out of my chest. Oh, that's going to be easier. Yeah, just take it out of the chest. Then. Okay. So, so we don't. So we. I, I wonder if actually, uh, maybe, maybe if the chest is in the house, you can't. I wonder. Uh, so I'm. I'm just in a sort of state of exploration with them. 
with what's going on. Um, how it works. How co-op works. Right, I have placed the chest down. Whoop. How much wood have I got? Have I used all my wood now? Yeah, probably. Yeah, uh, I wonder if, I'm just going to try and... Can I move my... Uh, I'm just going to... Let me see. I'll put some stuff in the shipping bin. I'm mm -hmm. going to move my chest indoors and see if you can still get in it. Because uh, I don't know if that is possible. Because it looks like if the chests are outdoors, because I, I can presume you get in your chest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can get in your chest. Uh, and... Uh, so I'd want, I'm going to try and move my chest indoors. The way you move move like furniture items, do you like whack them with? You may empty them and like whack them with a rock or like a chopper or something. Okay. You try. Oh, I blimey, blimey! I didn't realise my pockets are full. Hang on. Uh, 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 let me just plant this acorn and then pick it up. <laughs> right. So where's my chest? There's my chest. Right. Okay. So I'm going to put it in my house and see if that makes a difference. Learning in Stardew. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if if you come in my house, can you can you root in my chest? <laughs> right, <laughs> anyway. here we go. You are now part of my army. Mm -hmm. My army. <clears throat> yep, I can access it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's all right, though. It's fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, like I said, I haven't got anything terribly important or... Um, I mean, it's your, it's, your, um, it's your farm, so you own it all, presumably. Okay. okay, so my energy level is super low, so I'm going to uh, pick up some of this stuff. I'll Ooh. just plant some mixed seeds, see what happens. Mm -hmm. Actually, I, am gonna, I do want my chest outside because it's, it's easier to get everything when it's outside, I think. You've got glasses on. Oh, you've got glasses on. I wonder yep. why your face looks sort of kind of odd, but you've got glasses on. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Anyway, um, you can stand outside in the rain if you want. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I shall. Um, yeah, well, I see you, you can, I mean, You're this exploring. Is when now, now you've uh, done your sort of farm chores with it. I mean, my, my usual routine is get up, do my farm chores, go out, do a bit of foraging, mm -hmm. pick up daffodils and things. Um, there's another daffodil over there. Oh, you yep. spotted it. Mm -hmm. um, and then go and talk to people, do the social parts of the, the questing. Mm -hmm. um, actually, what have I got? I'm put my, minuses for the thing. So cultivating half of the parsnip. 11 out of 28 people greeted that I've done. <laughs> oh, actually, um, here's a little tip. If you mm -hmm. press plus and go to the social, the heart, it will have people you've met will have a name next to them and people you haven't will have question marks next to them. Ah, okay. I'm just going to have a little cough. No worries. There we go. Yeah, so you can sort of see which characters you haven't met yet. Mm -hmm. And if there's any you haven't, I'll probably know where they hang out or where they live. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, just go and meet. Oh, oh, dirty Shop's clothes. closed. Yeah. Those cases. Oh, but yeah, it's like, like most sort of computer games, you just randomly wander into people's houses. They don't care. They're like, oh, it's you. <laughs> so, yeah, we meet George and Alex and Granny. <laughs> Granny Evelyn. Mm -hmm. Yep, Queen, Queen E.T. is me. So, um, I mean, I'll follow now. Okay, yeah. Um... Bring onions. Yeah, the spring onions. I you get told where the spring onions are um, later in the game with a letter. I know where the spring onions are, mm -hmm. but that's in a whole part of the town we haven't been to yet. Right. But I'm I'm trying not to railroad you, basically. I'm yeah. Not to, but yeah, there's also spring onions. Uh, we will find those. So 
so yeah you can uh, oh, oh that was that was clint yep about him clint. Oh. and you're going in to see meet the trailer people who are uh, yep lot. it's only penny in oh, here like um, and oh yeah, yeah um i think i can't remember penny and pam live in there i can't remember now um, well penny's lots herself away so can't yeah, say hello well, to her it is eight o'clock at night so she's probably going who's this Mm. weird creepy guy who's just walked into my trailer uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's that new guy <laughs> and his farmhand who's running back to mm -hmm. back to the ranch because i'm done so yeah kind of again a very you know animal crossing very well so yeah you get up you do your chores you sell everything that isn't nailed down that doesn't look like you can make it into something later uh you go to bed uh, repeat until rich mm -hmm. or you know uh i mean there's 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 it's not too much of a spoiler to say there are there are two like morality paths in this game there's the way that you are clearly meant to play in that you do it to grow as many different crops as you can and make lots of friends and have a lovely time mm -hmm. and then there's making a ton of money by just min-maxing and that is also a way you can play i don't know anyone who plays it like that <laughs> <laughs> you're given an option later in the game to basically go for um the just make tons of cash or farm um <laughs> so it's uh yeah yeah penny lives there too i did think uh queen that penny lived there um because Pam is also the driver of the bus, so she tends to be hanging around a lot until the bus is back in service. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's 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 I say uh, it's one of those games where you I say like the good old you know Harvest Moon or proper Harvest Moon, which is now called Story of Seasons. Um, don't approve of new style Harvest Moon. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so so your old school Harvest Moon story of seasons is about you know the, the characters and how they interact. Oh, I've leveled up to level one foraging. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I think the I can't remember if the skills based on how, how much you do or how much you sell. Uh, well, I'm not one hundred percent sure. Yeah. yeah, Pam's Pam's a man. Pam's Penny's man. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so uh, oh, there's a. If you look, watch TV today, if you've got the same as me, you'll get a living off the land tip. It's the farming program. Okay, I'll uh, go back in. Lived off the land. We're back again for another trip, y'all. Listen up, this one's the folks living in the Stargy Valley. Well, pretty much everyone does. Check for spring onion. <laughs> Yeah. That west of town, where the river yeah. beats the ocean. Sometimes you can yeah. find a whole bunch growing right out of the dirt. Yeah, we haven't been to that part of the map yet, so we'll go down there in a minute. When you've watered your parsnips, which is your yeah. main duty at the moment. Now we've cleared a, a bit of space, we can see what we're doing. You know what, I'm going to leave my fishing rod in my... my um, chest because i haven't got much bag space yet um you improve bag space by speaking to pierre in the shop and giving him some cash mm -hmm. uh, he gives you a better bag with more space in it um but um so until then i, I try not to carry too much stuff around with me because we run out of space in your pockets then mm -hmm. don't need the side oh yeah this i mean you need the scythe for certain crops, uh, like wheat and amaranth, I think it is. Mm -hmm. Some other ones. You can use them to get rid of a lot of weeds at once, but you can also get rid of weeds with the axe and the pickaxe and that. So you, you don't need to carry a scythe around with you a lot. Um, and also you don't need to carry your uh, watering can around with you a lot because you only really use it when you're watering your crops. So. You can save a bit of bag space by leaving stuff back. But if you follow me, where are you? Um, where have you got? I was by you, but there, there we are. are. There we are. 
So follow me, follow me. Yep. So the southwest of town where the yep. river meets yep. the sea. Basically, if we go this way, we can go out the south way. Because <clears throat> there's a south and a north and a an east way of getting out of your town. Mm. Oh, we can drop into Marnie's ranch on the way. This is where you buy your animals. Look at the cows. Are they cute? Mm -hmm. Little, little cows. I, I did come this way um, just a minute ago when it was dark, and I saw like the like snoring. But, yeah, uh, they, they little zeds above their heads. Yeah, yeah. They are, the animals are cute. I think to talk to her, you'd actually have to go around the side and trigger her that way, because I think if you talk to her in front of the till, it will do her shop yeah. animation. And there's uh, there's someone else to meet up here, but we're not good enough friends with Jazz to enter her bedroom. Okay. So we can't meet Jazz yet. Yep, no, no, with that side. Yeah. So. So yeah, I think this is Lee's house. This is mm -hmm. where Lee lives. Now, uh, where's the bridge? Oh, it's this way. It's this way. Ooh. Oh, there's a horse radish here you can pick up. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Don't know what song that acts at it, but. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm kind of speed running you through. What is, what, mm. We used to call it in Warcraft where you, um, oh, here we go, where you had sort of like a higher level player like run you through a, a part of the world. To... I can't, honestly, you can't. Boosting. Think of yeah, it. I'm boosting Boost. you. Get, pick up some, pick <clears throat> up some, some stuff. Yep. Yep. How they're loading, Jenny? Yeah. Well, it's because they're streaming as well. It, it, people, people don't want to see you sort of flailing around trying to find. Yeah. <laughs> trying to find where stuff is for too long. Um. I said I I know I know Stardew Valley nearly as well as I know my um Animal Crossing town. Uh, yeah, this this house, this something happens here later. I'm not going to tell you what, but yeah, remember where this is. All right, looks abandoned. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bunny. Uh, there's uh, this is where like you can't get over here, but there's like festivals. Um, right. And over there, so that, but you'll get sort of like teleported there normally. There's a daffodil. Uh, no dandelion. You pick that up. Mm -hmm. And also, another sort of top tip is if you clear all these weeds, it will make sort of cool stuff more likely to spawn. Because it needs like a bit of space to... Oh, your pocket's full. Yeah. Oh, I'll pick it up then. There we go. Yeah. I <laughs> wish I could throw you these. A rock above your head. Yeah. You can, if you want to get rid of stuff, if you, if you go into your, um, you press plus to go into your... Um, oh yeah yeah i got it there's a bin so you can you can just take the stuff that's trash and put it in the trash um and just go down to the trash can with it and trash it uh if you want to uh up here is sometimes a weird guy with a like a vado like a gypsy caravan drawn by a pig and he sells you stuff <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of weird this is a good lake for fishing yeah there's good Oh, yeah, we, there's a, someone up there in that tower, but I don't think we can talk to him yet. Yeah, the guy with the caravan's up here, but he's not here today. Oh. Like, you know how Red in Animal Crossing just shows up sometimes and sells you random weird stuff? That yeah. It's like that. That's Jazz, I think. Yeah, been... just says hi and then yeah, well, she, off she goes. She doesn't want to talk to strangers because she's a good girl. <laughs> uh, so, ooh. I've got a little bit of lag. Yep. I just saw you uh, sort of oh, go from one side of the path. Yeah. Right. Uh, 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 uh. Um, you can get to the southern part of town from here to through going along here. So there's a few bits of the map we haven't been to yet. Uh, which I will. I wonder if I can show you. We've been to the seaside, haven't we? Mm hmm. Uh, so if we go up, 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 oh, have we talked to her yet? No, I haven't. It's Caroline and Lee. Okay, okay so you can go up here, mm -hmm. past the clay park, just up here, oh, there's a daffodil. 
Oh, there's there's the the stereotypical blonde girl. Mm-hmm. You're that new father boy, aren't you? Yeah. Or whatever. Yes. <laughs> Hello, my name's hey. Keith. How are you doing? <laughs> and then this is the old ruined community centre, which is going to become more relevant, unsurprisingly mm -hmm. to anyone. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that wasn't a big spoiler. <laughs> It Robin... seems kind of, seems kind of obvious considering how big the building is. Yeah. Um, then Robin the carpenter who builds new buildings and stuff for you lives up here mm -hmm. with Sebastian and Maru and Demetrius. I think all one big happy family. Yep. So, I don't think I met her yet. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, so like I say, if you want to talk to them as people, then you go round and talk to them. But if you want to talk to them as shopkeepers, you talk to them at the till. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like she's finished for the day. She's done her thing. Um, yep. It's... Here's Demetrius <coughs> down here. Oops. So I was say it's five o'clock in game now, so. Yeah. So it's Demetrius and Elite. And Lewis, who is kind of hard to find, should be around here somewhere. Well, he's not hard to find. I just didn't really think there'd be some guy living out here. But there mm -hmm. is. And he likes food. So I'm going to give him a leap. Because... You know. Okay. There we go. So, and, yeah, this... There's, there's a sort of like rock slide here, so you can't get up here just yet. But there, you will be able to. Mm -hmm. And if you go this way, it's a shortcut back to the north side of your farm. And there's some stuff to pick up. We're really picking mm -hmm. up stuff. Oh, bit laggy. Liggy laggy. Yeah, so we're back on the farm. Here we are. That was quick. So, yeah, so that's pretty much all of the map i think all of the map that's unlocked at this point there's there's more things later but that's pretty that's pelican town mm -hmm. to pelican town um and yeah so i haven't met everybody yet it will like i said there's things like there's festivals i mean if you look at the calendar outside the shop there's sort of it will tell you about oh there's a festival and then you can meet everyone at the festival, pretty much. Uh, ooh, I've lagged. I've lagged. I've lagged. I've lagged. Yep. There we go. Your head's stuck if in the... If you want uh... to sell just one thing, you can use Y, by the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and I think you you get a thing to sell... To selling different... Like, a, 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 one of everything. It, and it turns up in, like, um... Like a... I can't remember what it's called now. In the plus menu, there's like uh, the collections, so it will show you when you ship one, it will show you how much you get for them, so you can sort of compare how how much you get for each thing. Mm -hmm. um, oh, we haven't been to the library yet either, have we? It'll be shut by now. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll go to the library tomorrow because mm -hmm. you've you've got a lost book and you need to go and read it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, a part of yeah the the blacksmith and the supermarket, which is the soulless JoJo Mart that you escaped from because you used to work for them. So mm -hmm. you want to go in there? Yeah. Um, yep. Should we call it here for today's stream? Um, yeah, I mean, absolutely fine with me. I mean, yeah, it's just gone ten. So yep. We uh, hopefully next time we will be we'll be a bit prompt with the start. We weren't yeah. super late, were we? No, no, only about um, five minutes or so. so. But yeah, so um, like I said, that's that's the beginning of Stardew Valley. I said there's not much to do yet. Um, mm -hmm. You the game saves when you um, when you sleep. So you know, we basically if every time you go back to the game, it goes back to your last sleep save. So. Yeah. Yeah, um, so now is a good time to see. So now is a good time to stop. Um, but yeah, so it will ramp up a bit. I mean, I you could, if you wanted to, play it a bit um, to see if you can get a little bit further on. But obviously, then we might miss some plot or something. So yeah. Um, but there's uh, you know, we're we're only in the first week of week one in the spring. 
or, you know, we're the first week, so. Yep. But now, now we've got the hang of it. Um, things should start picking up. I hope. Um, get that, get them parsnips done. Yep, they should be grown by by any time too. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, no, like I say, um, uh, there's there's a lot to there's a lot to there's a lot in this game, and it's like I said the we've barely sort of touched the surface at the moment. So I would say to people who are looking at it, going, "Well, that was a bit." That was a bit, you know, you, all you did was water some stuff and chop some trees down. It's like, yeah, it's good. yeah. We've, we've just taken over Granddad's farm. Give me, so, give me a <laughs> chance. <laughs> I've got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, but yeah, it's, I'm, I, I, I love this game. I love this game. I have the t-shirt. I have this, my, I have more than one t-shirt. I've played <laughs> it on just about every console. And as, uh, I think it was Ninty Bar said earlier today, um, it's uh they think it's better than animal crossing i'm not sure i agree but um oh uh lanny chani has just said hey hung thunder i don't know yeah. if you saw that yeah i, I didn't oh, mention yeah. it ever but yeah okay. he's a oh, well, nintendo well, master member i was obviously i was obviously um i was obviously like <coughs> chopping away at trees and mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah anyway oh so thanks for thanks for having me Been yeah fun. no worries yeah we'll uh be back next tuesday from nine o'clock yep um, yep. And yeah, stay yeah. tuned for more Nintendo Players UK streams coming soon. Yep. Okay. Bye, everyone. See you later. Bye. Bye.